A hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Waharuka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, um, Jehovah, etc. The Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of this truth. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel, this truth in all sincerity. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar'ala from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this lesson, you know, hopefully it's going to be edifying. Now, there are lots of things really going on, you know, there are lots of things really going on. And really, the days ahead are really going to be wicked and evil, as the scriptures let us know, you know. This is the time we really need to start, you know, cleaning our, cleaning up our closets, man. This is the time when we need to start, you know, trying to be at peace with the most high Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, this is the time we need to reconcile with the most high Yahweh Shem Shai. Because in the days that are coming, you would need the most high Yahweh Shem Shai to be with you, to, to protect you, to see you through what's coming, you know. They're really wicked and bad days, man, ahead. Now, this is the book of um of Malachi. Oh, Micah. Micah 2.10 This is the book of Micah 2.10 which quotes Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction so yeah this is not our rest you know these places that we are actually are not our rest so there is no sense in you trying to you know to continue you know, trying to get that money, trying to secure your bag and all that. It's not really telling you to leave where you're living because that's not what it's saying. It's only saying you should leave spiritually. You know, you should give up all these philosophies, all these gods that you're going after, which the God of this world right now is the money God. You know, the dollar, the people worship the money. It's all about the mula. It's all about the money. So you need to leave all these and seek the most high Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Why? It still might be found now the the door the, the mercy door is still opened for people to come in but once that door is shut man it's going to be all hell breaking loose you know and we that we are actually coming out you know week in and week out doing this work we are praying for the most high yahweh shem yahweh to be merciful on us you know in these last days that are coming and you see if the if the righteous are going to be strictly um strictly um saved then think about the, the sinners you know so you know we have wicked days right ahead if you go through the news you know there is a lot going on now you can see jake is the new face of um jake is the new face of um terrorism and wickedness you know and we know that this is esau you know as he as he knows how to do you know he accuses us you know, he puts our face in all these things in which is the one that actually put together all these things. You know, I don't really believe this is a real person. I don't really believe this is this is um this is someone that did what he did. You know, I believe it was all staged by Esau, you know. So you see there are lots of uprisings, you know, you just you just you don't even need to go too much, you just need to go through the through the what do they call it? Through the um the highlights of the news and you see that you know there is third world war knocking on the door there is an um, uprising everywhere you know people already know that these devils are up to something you know so what they do is you know people are really refusing this vanessa people are really refusing to make um a pact with vanessa vanessa jews you know people are people people are really you know refusing to get that injection you know in which over here in Europe, um, everyone is just, you know, people are, people are protesting, you know, people are going off it, they're going against their powers and things are really going to get very, 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 very wicked, you know, 
they're not longer going to tell you people oh do this or do that they're just going to come out full martial you heard what the prince of um of england said in the um in the last cop 26 you know they're speaking on you know coming out all martial you know then not forgetting the war that's just right behind between um russia and um the europeans you know nato like i saw let's see I saw I saw an update right here saying okay Khan this is what it is it says NATO's mistake is that it still thinks it's dealing with the weekend Russia of the 1990s you know the third world war is right at the door and it is spoken of in the scripture in the book of um, Revelation third war So this is the book of Revelation 11, 14. It says the second war is past, which is the second world war. And behold, the third war cometh quickly. You now the third world war is right at the door. Now let's get a little scenario of what's going to go on, you know, in the days ahead. Because what's going to happen is um, Esau is going to come out, you know, all, all with his strength, you know come up with his military force and force everyone to get juiced up you know to have that pact with vanessa you know and those who wouldn't accept are going to become the, the faces of the new terrorist and very soon we're going to go into that scripture you know the book of amos 8:11 that speaks about the famine of the world for we hebrew israelites you know having seen that our faces already put out there as you know uh, we're being accused you know for what we don't even know what to, we, we didn't do about or anything we don't know anything about and this is for those really who are just you know getting to know this truth you know you have to be careful because you know there are lots of enchantments Esau is pushing out right now to to scare you away from the truth you know you should know that we would never do anything of such you know we don't do all that we just go out on the streets you know we teach the scriptures and we do our, our sit downs at home you know we don't go out, you know, looking for troubles and doing all that. So Esau is pushing out a lot of um, enchantments in these last days, you know, to, 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 to take out the, the, um, the, the Israelites, to bring them out of the truth. And those who are going to fall for all these are actually part of the, out of the two thirds who are destined to be destroyed, you know. So now, this is the book of um, Second Ezra, chapter 16. I'm going to read through. So he says... Will be unto thee, Babylon, which is speaking of America and Asia. Okay, will be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Guard up thyself with clothes of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. The destruction of this power structure, as we know it, is really at hand. You know, he says, A sword is sent unto you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent amongst you. And who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away an hungry lion in the wood, or may any one quench the fire in stop to when it hath begun to burn? May one turn again the harrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushai sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? Hey, we have all these prophets, you know, they've been prophesying all these things from from centuries you know letting us letting us know that man you know there are wicked things that are about to happen you know and these days are not you know it's no child's play man things are really about to get really really crazy out there you know remember the movie um i am legend remember the movie um the book of eli you know those apocalyptic scenes you're about to have them happen right in front of your eyes you know and the, it's only those who the most high yahweh shem yahushai is going to say are going to um survive those days only those who are going to have the protection of the most high yahweh shem yahushai are going to be protected because he is still the one you know orchestrating all this forget everything that esau is doing you know all these enchantments that esau is doing but he is being an instrument in the hands of the most high you know, it does nothing of himself. It's the Most High that uses him to do all these things, you know. So the Most High is, you know, is powerful. 
is 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 merciful he's going to be merciful unto those who call upon his real name those who are sincere you know but those who are out after this kingdom after you know their success after their money after this after that they are all going to be destroyed because man there is time for everything just like the book of ecclesiastical says you know a time to gather and a time to lose you know so now let's keep reading it says fire shall go forth from his wrath and who is he that may quench it he shall cast lightnings and who shall not fear he shall thunder and who shall not be afraid the lord shall threaten and who shall not be and who shall not be utterly beaten to power at his presence he says the earth quaketh and the foundations thereof the sea ariseth up with waves on the deep and the waves of it of it are troubled and the fishes thereof before the lord yahweh and before the glory of his presence you know and this is just all giving you attributes of the most high yahweh Shai. he is not all loving just like the christians pro um, proclaim him to be the most high yahweh Shem Shai is terrible alashadia the terrible power man you know the most high yahweh Shem Shai kills it destroys just like the book of um the book of deuteronomy um is it 32 let's see deuteronomy 32 i believe verse 39 can this is the book of deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 39 it says see now that i even i am he and there is no power with me i kill and i make alive i wound and i heal neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand can there is no one that can deliver out of the hands of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. If the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai wants you destroyed, you are going to be destroyed. There is nothing you can do. You can hide under the bunkers. You can, you can, you can, you can fly to Jupiter. You can do whatever you like. But if the Most High wants you, He gets you because He runs it. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai runs this thing, man. He runs everything, you know. And we humans, we're nothing but just like drops of water, or grains of dust before the sight of the Most High. You know, he said the earth is his footstool, you know. Then think of we humans, you know, we are nothing, you know. Stop letting Esau deceive you. Stop letting the so-called white man who is the devil, you know, with his national, um, which is biblical nationality, Esau, Edom. Don't let them pull you into destruction because that's what they're doing with lots of jakes right now. You know, they're taking lots of jakes and putting them into um, comfortable positions and making them, you know, sell out their own brothers, you know, lie to them and drag them away from this truth. You know, they're being, they're being instruments in the hands of the devil. But hey, all things is all things about to turn around very soon. You know, though this time is going to be really difficult. You know, as said in the book of um, Daniel 12, 1, you know, it says a time like never before, even a, a time of Jacob's trouble. That's Jeremiah speaking anyway. So let's keep reading. It says, the earth quaked and the foundations thereof. The sea arised up. Now I read this. It said, for strong is the right hand that bended the bow, his arrows that he shooted are sharp. And shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. This right hand of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai is Yahweh Shai, his son, our Redeemer, you know. And he says, Strong is the right hand that bendeth it, you know. He said, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumes the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is short of a mighty archer returneth not backwards, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? This is Ezra, you know, he's seeing all this destruction that is coming, you know, and this proves reincarnation to you, you know, meaning that Ezra is going to be is going to be um present in these days right now, you know. It might be part of the elders, the apostles, you know, it might be part of the brothers, it might be anyone, you know, and he's going to be present here. So he's seeing this vision, he's saying, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days, you know, that's, he got really afraid of what's about to happen, you know, he says, the beginning of sorrows and great murmurings, 
the beginnings of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evil. What shall I do in those days when, when these evils shall come? So that's a question, you know, I'm telling you, making you understand that, you know, days ahead are really evil. The days ahead, uh, you would really need the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai because no man, no man, I repeat, no man, no talisman, no no power, nothing else can save you if it's not the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. It says, Behold, famine and plagues, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendments. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. And that's just the nature of man, you know. We we kind we tend to adapt in whichever situation we find ourselves, you know. So people are getting more wicked, you know. Esau has created a society of wickedness, and people adapt to it, you know. They get more wicked, you know. So it's just like um, you know, a toad. When you put a toad in a, in a pot of of water, you know, it feels cozy, it feels okay. Then you put fire under the under the under the pot. It gets more comfortable. It tries to adapt more and more to the water. You increase the heat. The water start getting into boiling point. Then it boils to death. You know, but it doesn't recognize. It doesn't know that it's going to die because it's feeling comfortable. It adapts so quickly into this water, and this is what these devils are doing. You know, they know that we humans we adapt quickly in whichever situation, whichever, whichever. Um, situation or position we find ourselves so you see things are getting really so evil but people adapt and become more evil you know and this is just the one of the biggest incantations of Esau Edom the so-called devils that are ruling the earth you know so it says um, it says for these things they shall not return from their wickedness not be always mindful of the scourges Behold, victuals shall be so cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And this has this has this has been going on for some time, you know. All these, you know, now people can buy um cell phones for cheap prices, you know, at the time they used to be very expensive. The TVs, the flat screen TVs used to be very expensive, you know. Victuals, there are a lot of things that used to be very expensive that now they be, they come so cheap, you know, and confusion. There's been a lot of confusion on the earth. Esau has been pushing all different enchantments, you know, giving all rights to all these alphabet people, you know, telling you a man can be with a man, you know, old men, grown men can sleep with babies, you know, and there was a lot of confusion, you know. And he says, what he says is that is is a sexual orientation. Just imagine the confusion right here. That's the reason why USA, America, Babylon the Great in the scripture is known as Babylon the Great. Babylon, Babylon means confusion, city of confusion. Okay, it says, For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the others that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy, and the dead shall be cast out as dogs, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. And this is coming, man. There is going to be famine. You're already seeing that Esau is um, systematically orchestrating a famine. You know, he is holding, he is holding your ships right on the sea. The ships that are so, supposed to supply foods, and they are buying out all the farmlands. You know, um, the, the the Bill Gates to hell has um, is the biggest is the is the biggest land owner in the U.S. right now. You know, he owns. A huge more than 50 percent of the lands of the farm they're buying all these things out you know they are actually orchestrating a farming you know they're orchestrating a farming and this is what they've been doing all these years you know they they they, they tell you that these local farmers can't do certain things they can't do certain. they turn everything to government's own you know they put monopolies on everything so they can have control of all these things and create the farming when they want and it is coming right there. People are going to fall dead. You know, people are going to be on the street. There is going to be nobody to bury them. You know, there are going to be lots of uprisings. We're seeing what's going on in, in Holland. You know, the people in Holland are really crazy. Jakes, the Edomites right there are some mad Edomites, man. They, they, they can do any crazy thing, you know. So they've been fighting against their powers, you know. 
causing all different kinds of mayhem same thing happened in belgium uh, happening in belgium same thing happening right here in italy you know so we're saying that very soon what the prince said about you know bringing out going all martial is coming that's going to be the next step because what they're pushing right now on the news is the people who are actually holding the economy back are those who haven't made the pact with vanessa you know and these people they need to get out, taken out of the way because they are just like a, a a problem they are just like a wall stopping economy from growing you know so very soon they'll start coming at these people and don't get don't get confused about what the tv is showing you you know lots of people got juiced up you know but many there's still lots of people who haven't been juiced you know but what Esau is doing with this TV propaganda machine, the sorcery box, you know, what he does is he pushes it out like, you know, majority has had that part with Vanessa. He pushes it out as if um, uh, majority of the people have, have been juiced. But the truth is, you know, majority of people don't, they don't, they don't fall with that thing, man. The only people going to take that shit is Jake right here in Italy because Jake is all about his job. He wants to maintain his job. He wants to walk he wants to do this and we've been hearing all different stories from people we know you know people falling dead after taking this shit man so now it says there shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it and the trees shall give fruit and who shall gather them the grapes shall ripen and who shall tread them for all places shall be desolate this is talking about jobs you know right now there are lots of people you know purposely leaving their jobs you know and they're looking for a lot more people to work like right now in italy this is the best moment for you to get a job if you're looking for a job but be sure that you need to be juiced up to get those jobs because lots of people are leaving their jobs because here in italy if you don't have um the pass you can't you can't walk you know so many people give up their jobs they don't want to take this um vanessa shit, you know and now they're looking for lots of people to work. There are lots of job opportunities. That's what that verse is speaking about. It says, so that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice can. Because now this is really where it's going to get crazy, you know, because now they're speaking about, um, I, don't, I don't know the word to put, you know, they're speaking about these um, places where they built, you know, in which we've been speaking about the apostles, They've been speaking about from decades, man. You know, they've been speaking about this from decades and people call them um, conspiracy theories. You know, those places that they built and they put you there. It's just like prison. You know, let me just put it like that. You know, they've been building all these places in all different parts of the cities. You know, where very soon is going to be the new abode of those who refuse to take Vanessa. Those who refuse to get in a relationship with Vanessa, you know. So they are all going to be taken there where either many of them are going to get their heads chopped because they've also they have also um provisions of all these plastic coffins that they bought and they have them piled all right there ready for this time man esau is way ahead you know but but jake is just you know jake is still dreaming jake is still all about all about the trap music jake is still all about money jake is still all about clubbing and party Jake is not seeing what's going on, man. Now it says, For a city, for of a city there shall be ten left and two of the field, which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rocks. And these times are coming, man. Because what's going to cause this when they start coming to your houses to come pick people up? Those who haven't had the, the pact with um with Vanessa, those who have not been juiced up, you know. When they start coming to your homes to, to grab people, lots of people are going to flee into different um, rural areas, you know. And I say, or oh, as when a vineyard is gathered, there are left some clusters of them that diligently seek through the vineyard. Even so, in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. And then there are going to be lots of, you know, killings, lots of um, lawlessness, you know, because... People are going to be hungry. People are going to go to different houses, people's houses. They will kill people for, for just, you know, a bag of rice. They will kill people for some beans. They will kill people for some for some water, for some wine, you know, because all these things are going to be scarce, you know. And this is all planned by the Most High Yahabashim Yahushai 
but Esau thinks is the one doing the great reset. But he doesn't know it's the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai doing all this reset, you know. And th the funny thing is, people forget about history. All this is history playing back, you know. You should remember about the French Revolution. You should remember about the Russian Revolution. You should remember about the the the, the Cold War, um, the First World War, the Second World War. You know, these are all planned up, man. You know. So this is it. It says. Um, and the air and the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields fields thereof shall wax old, and our ways and all our paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel therein. Because now, even here in Italy, like, um, we have our our trash 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 cans, you know, all filled up. You know, there's people walking, coming to take up our trashes every every week. Now it seems like they have um reduced personnel. You know, so they don't re they don't regularly come to take up our our trash anymore the way they used to, you know. Now they skip they skip days and they skip weeks, you know, and very soon all this is going to, there's not going to be opportunity of doing this. The, the cities are all going to be filled with trash, and you have rats going all around, you know. You have more disease and people, you know, everywhere dirty, you know. You people you know, the people that cut that maintain the grasses of the cities that cuts the plants, that maintains the trees, the grass, they will not be available anymore, you know. So these grasses are all going to grow tall. You know, there is crazy shit coming up, man. If, you, if you're not seeing all these things, man, it means you're, you're, you're destined to be destroyed, man. Because the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has all this, you know, played out, you know, all these prophecies. None of these prophecies are slacked, man. At its right time, they prove to be real, you know. All these prophecies have been and they work they prove to be real the first world war is spoken of the second world war is spoken of they all passed man the roman caesars are spoken of in this same book of um second um second extras you know i think chapter 11 you know it speaks about the first 12 roman caesars you know it speaks about every damn thing you know this book is the most reliable source that we have but people they disregard it because a, a, a sudden devil tells you that it's written by men. <laughs> so how can a man write such book? Now, it says, The virgins shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn, having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. And all these women, you know, that, you know, Esau has got you drunk off that feminism juice, you know, of that, you know, I, I, I don't need no man shit, you know. You're all red, just you're in for a rude awakening, man. You know, because in those days, you're going to know the, the, the usefulness of a man. In those days, you're going to know that a man is, 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 is how should I put it? What's the word? You're going to know a man is necessary, man, because you're more vulnerable in the society. People are going to rape you, they're going to steal from you, they're going to kill many of you. You know, then you would need a man to protect you. A man is going to be like a, pr a protection, a, sh a secure protection, you know. And this, what this, this dumb, dumb eaves don't know is, you know, they're actually, the majority of their number, they are more than men, you know. <laughs> That's why it's written in the book of Isaiah, is it four, that, you know, seven men shall grab on a man, uh, seven women shall, shall grab on a, on a man and, and, and want to be um, his wife, you know, just paraphrasing. So these women don't know what's going on, you know, they're still on TikTok, you know, shaking their booties, you know, doing all crazy mad things, you know, but they're in for a rude awakening, man. You know, it says, in the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. Many of them, you know, going after all this, um, all these different men, you know, because of their fame, because of their money, or these effeminate men. You know, refusing the real men of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. Anyway, we the men of Yahweh Shem Shai, we don't need you, man. We don't need you. We don't need you. We're good to go. You know, we know that Eve is a dumb burden. You know, so we don't need Eve. The Most High Yahweh Shem Shai has given us those spirits. You know, we have brothers. You know, that have wives. You know, they're good to go. But those who don't have and are, and are not searching, you know, the Most High has given us that spirit to be like Paul, man. You know, we're eunuchs until the return of Yah Shai. You know, and we don't we don't feel any need for a woman. You know, 
So now it says, it says, Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. And we are the servants of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. We're listening to these things, we're taking it, we're calculating the time, we're redeeming the time like wise men, just like the book of Ephesians um, 5 um, 5.15. Let's get it real quick. Ephesians. Ephesians 5.15. So this is the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15. He quotes, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise men, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. You know, the days are evil. And we're redeeming the time, we're walking as wise men, you know. And why? Because everything is written in this book. This book gives us the understanding of how to move in this time, man, you know. So verse 36 says, Behold the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake can. And that's what, you know, majority of Jake is, you know, is putting um, his strength and trust in. They trust that God of the dollar, you know. They trust that God of fame, that God of the Oscars, you know. They trust every other thing except the true God. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, you know, they trust every other thing, you know, they trust their careers, they trust their dreams, you know, and I always make mention, you know, I, I, I heard it from somewhere, I can't remember where, you know, these people, they all chase their dreams, in which if you need to chase your dream, it means you need to be asleep, man, and 90% of a good 70% of Jake, you know, is spiritually asleep, man. Now he says, Behold, the plagues draw night and are not slack. These plagues are not slack. They are going to happen. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth a son with two or three hours of her birth, her birth great pains come past her womb, which pains, when the child cometh forth, they slack not at a moment. Now, the women who have had children, they understand what this is speaking about. You know, when a woman is... Is, is close to, to, to breaking her water, you know, she starts feeling a lot of pain, you know, then all of a sudden the, the, the water breaks and the child comes. So that's how these plagues are going to happen. Now, we are actually in the ninth month, you know, we are actually in the ninth month, the last hours of that ninth month, we are actually, you know, and this earth is about to drop, man, it's about to drop. And what is it dropping? It is plagues, man. It's about to drop its plagues. We are the last, we are actually the last minutes of this ninth month, you know. And it says, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrows shall come upon it on every side. Why do you think in the book of Daniel 12, it speaks about a time like never before? Let's get it real quick. This is the book of Daniel 12, you know, it says, and at that time shall Mikahala stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book so if your name is not written in the book man you're in for a wicked and painful death man so now it says you know um, where is it? It say it shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, you know. So this is a time that you can't even the times that are coming are going to make you know the first world war, the second world war, the cold war is going to make all that look like um look like a concert. You get the times that are coming, they're going to make all the wars, the, the past wars, the first, the second, you know, the cold war. Uh, the, the the all the wars and everything that you've had it's going to make them look like concerts you know so get ready you know so he says hear now these things and understand them no it says um uh, it says even so shall not the plagues be slack you know to come upon earth and the world shall mourn and sorrows shall come upon it on every side oh my people hear my word and when these sorrows come upon it on every side, you know, those people who are going to be comforted are actually the people who are 
who are putting their full trust on the monster Yahweh about Shem Yahushai, those who truly know the monster Yahweh about Shem Yahushai, those who have been doing this work, you know, in which we know that certain of our of ourselves, certain of our brothers are still going to pay with their life, you know. But we know that, you know, beautiful is the death of the saints in the eyes of the Most High Yahweh about Shem Yahushai. And what we should be praying for is for the Most High to give us the spirit to be able to stand whatever comes our way. Whatever is lot be for us, it's good, you know. If the Most High decides that I pay with my life, let it be, you know. I just pray that it gives me the spirit to be able to stand it, you know. This is the prayer we should be making because our works doesn't, doesn't, sat, doesn't confirm that, you know, something is not going to happen to us. Book of Revelation make you understand that some of us are going to be locked in the prisons, you know. Why being in the prison? Maybe we're, we're still going to continue this ministry and teach some certain people at that time, you know. Whatever the will of the Most High Yehawah Shem Yahushai be for us, let's pray it gives us the spirit to be able to stand everything, you know. So, you know, there is a book of um, is it, um, Isaiah 13, um, 33. It says, you know, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, you know. So those who are going to be calm in these times of great trouble, in these times of great plagues and tribulations, are going to be those who are familiar with this truth, you know. Are going to be those who know this truth, you know. Who the Most High has opened their eyes to this truth. Because this truth is going to be what is going to keep us calm in those days, you know. He say, oh my people, hear my word, make you ready for, to die battle. And in those days, in those evil days, and in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. And now, you all know the meaning of pilgrim. You know, I don't really need to go too much into that, you know. But many of the brothers are going to be like pilgrims, you know, in which we're already living like pilgrims. You know, we really don't give a heck about this kingdom. We are not laboring to be rich. We are not laboring to, to, to be successful in whatever. We are just laboring day in and day out, you know, to have the necessity necessary you know and we are expecting a new kingdom you know this is the mindset of a pilgrim you know we are not relaxed just like i read from the book of um um is it micah chapter 2 verse 10 it says you know depart ye this is not your rest you know that's the spirit the mindset that we have man so he says he says either sell it let him be as he that fled away and either buy it as one that will lose he that occupy it merchandise as he that had no profit by it and he that build it as he that shall not dwell therein and that's just what i said you know but what's jake doing jake is trying to buy some land jake is trying to build his own city jake is trying to build his own firms jake is looking for a heaven a safe heaven in this hell man so this is the difference between the wise the wise ones you know and the foolish ones you know it says, he that sow it as if he should not reap, so also he that planted the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes. They that marry as they that shall not that shall get no children, and they that marry not as the widowers. Um, I myself in this moment, I'm like a widower. You know, I'm not married. I don't have children. You know, it used to be like there used to be like this social pressure on this thing. You know, because, you know, me coming from the roots of Nigeria, you know, my parents are fully Nigerians, you know, they, they, they press so much on this. You know, my mother, you know, she has she has attempted a couple of times, you know, to, to, to organize some marriages between, you know, I and some family, a close family daughter or something like that, you know. But they didn't go into all that shit, man. Because, you know, I am a widow, man, in this time. Just le let me be, you know. I'm good with this truth, you know. These days are really crazy. This is not the time we should be getting with any women, you know. This is not the time we should be looking. We should be looking for some marriages or, or anything, you know. And which that's what Jake is just all about right now, you know. Jake is looking for his best Eve, you know. Happy, happy, up. What? How did? How did they say it? Say it. You know, they say happy married life, happy wife, or whatever, you know. So you say, and therefore they that labor, labor in vain, can't, you know, everything is vanity. All those people that are fucking laboring, you know, they're all laboring in vain, you know, in vain they labor, you know, 
all these people going after careers, you know, investing in Bitcoin and all this bullshit and all this crap. You know, Esau has the switch to turn everything at the right time, you know. It's just going to turn it off, boom, and you just lost all your damn money, you know. It says, for strangers shall reap their fruits and spoils their goods, overthrow their houses and take their children captive, for in captivity and famine shall they get children. Can't. You know, <laughs> all these people that are just piling up riches and money and everything, you know, they're working for some people that they don't even know because in a time of trouble, you know, all hell is going to break loose. People, people are going to show their real animal instinct. People are going to, you know, break into people's houses and do all sorts of things. And, you know, people you don't even know are going to come break up your house, you know, take your children, grab your wife, take all your food and your money, you know. Verse 47 says, And they that occupy their merchandise with world robbery, and the more they deck their cities, their houses, their possessions, and their old persons, the, will, the more will I be angry with them for their sins, said this, the Lord. Let me read again. It says, And they that occupy their merchandise with robbery, the more they deck their cities, their houses, their possessions, their own persons, the more will I be angry with them for their sins, said the Lord. And this is going to fold, speaking about, you know, those, just what I said, those who are actually working, you know, to, to, to gather as much as they can to be, to, to find their sort of heaven on this, in this earl, you know, speaking also to Esau, you know, and, and the house of Jake, you know, the most I yell about Shimei is going to be angry with those who are doing all this, you know. Let me see. Hey, this is a long chapter, man. I don't really know if I'm going to finish everything because I don't want to make this lesson too long. Let's see if I could just keep. Can I'm just going to get some few verses. Can it says in verse 50 it says, So shall righteousness hate iniquity when she decketh herself and shall accuse her to her face when he cometh that shall defend him that diligently searcheth out every sin upon earth can and this is speaking about we you have our shemi you know when the most i you know with this truth man we hate all sorts of iniquity you know we hate wickedness you know and that's the spirit of being when you're in this truth you know so you know we don't we are not carried away we are not jealous about people that are you know making all these dollars dollars or whatever those who are building in this kingdom we're not jealous you know we're not jealous we don't really give a hoot about all that but we know those things are not going to save them in the days of trouble you know you know we know that we are going to be recompensed when yahweh 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 sends his son yahweh shy you know which is our, is, our, is our salvation, man. If Yahweh Shai doesn't come back, man, then we are all fucked, man. So we're looking upon that day with all diligence, you know. We are watching. We are, we are doing a countdown, you know, countdown to the return of Yahweh Shai. You know, this is the year of hastening, hastening these prophecies, man, you know. And all praises be to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, for giving us this truth because this truth is just is the greatest gift you can ask for in this life, you know. I'm going to stop here, you know. Hopefully, this lesson was edifying, but you know, watch out, you know, all hell is about to break loose, you know, things are about to happen, you know. Jake is being portrayed as the face of wickedness on the, you know, news, you know, TVs, you know, you know how Esau rose, you know. So they're about to, they're about to Amos 8, 11 on us, you know, you know, so those, those of you seeking for this truth, you know, seek for it now that it's still available because the time is coming in which this truth is no longer going to be available because you're not going to see us down on the streets, you know, teaching, you know, you, our videos will be taken out of this garbage internet, you know, which is served its use in which the most I created it. You know, for getting this truth to the four corners of the earth. That's the book of Psalm 19, 4, you know. Having said this, I would like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Wahadu Kakudash, my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, who taught me this truth. 
peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.